Hello, uh, welcome to today's class. So we are continuing continuing our discussion on uninformed search, and in today's class we'll talk about depth first search. Um, and to understand DFS, let us uh, take the example of this tree, and where we have uh, the goal node M, which is at a depth of three. Now to perform DFS, we will start with uh, the start node A. And I would like to mention here that in case of DFS, uh, the frontier list is maintained as a LIFO queue, a last in first out queue. As we saw in case of BFS, and the frontier list is man maintained as a first in first out queue. And in case of optimal cost search, sorry, uniform cost search, and the frontier list is maintained as a priority queue ordered on the path cost. And here, in case of DFS, the frontier list is maintained as a, a last in first out queue. So we will start with our start node, and it would be part of the frontier list to start with and the explored set will be an empty list to start with. Next, we select node A for expansion, and hence node A will be removed from the frontier list, and it would be put into the explored set. And now for node A, the valid actions are, we can go to B or we can go to C. So we will generate, uh, the two successor nodes of B of A which are B and C now B and C since they are in the same depth uh, they can be entered in any order into the frontier list so we may enter B followed by C or we may enter C followed by B but uh, as an assumption let us assume that will enter these nodes based on their alphabetical order and hence we will enter the nodes from the same depth uh, in this case from depth one the two nodes b and c will enter them as b followed by c and hence the no next node that will be selected for expansion is b and hence b will be removed from the frontier set and it would be put into the explored set and now for node B uh, the valid actions are we can go to D or we can go to E or we can go back to A and if we uh, are using and the graph search based DFS then we know that graph search do not allow repeated nodes and that we had discussed in one of the earlier class and hence uh, since A is already in the explored set, a new node will not be generated for A. Uh, the other two actions, uh, D and E, they are not present in the explored set, so the nodes will be generated for D and E. And that actually completes um, the expansion of node B. And as we um as we enter the newly generated nodes d and e we see that they are entered at the front of the list and hence um, we also see that the nodes that have a higher depth value they would be in front of the other nodes which have a lesser depth value so in this ex in this example d and e has a depth of 2 so they would be present in the frontier list ahead of c which has a depth of 1 so the newly generated nodes are always entered at the front of the list and since we are saying that for nodes in the same depth uh, they would be entered in the alphabetical order um, we assume that they would be entered with D at the front followed by E. Next we need to select the next node for expansion 
and since d is at the front of the list d would be selected for expansion uh, so we'll remove d from the frontier list and we would put it into the explored set and now for d the valid actions are we can go to h or we can go to i or we can go back to b and since we don't allow repeated nodes um, b the node for b will not be generated because b is already present in the explored set instead we will generate only nodes for h and i and that completes the expansion of node D. Uh, and again, as you see, the newly generated nodes, they are entered at the front of the list. So again, the nodes with the highest depth value, they are at the front of the list. Next, uh, we will select H because H is at the front of the list. H should be selected for expansion. So H will be removed from the frontier list and it will be put into the explored set. And now H is a leaf node. So no more uh, successor nodes can be generated for H uh, because the only valid action for H is to go back to D and uh, D is already present in the explored set. So no other nodes would be generated for H and that would complete the expansion of H. And since now we have to select the next node for expansion and the node at the front of the queue is I, so I will be selected for expansion next. So I will be removed from the frontier list and it will be put into the explored set. And, and the valid actions for I is we can go back to D. That's the only valid action we have. And since D is already present in the explored set no new node will be generated and that would complete the expansion of node i and we have to select the next node and since e is at the front of the list e would be selected next so we will remove e from the frontier list and we'll put it in the explored set and now the valid actions for E or we can go to J or we can go to K or we can go to B. Um, B is already present in the explored set. So only two more new nodes would be generated. They are J and K. And these newly generated nodes, they would be put into the front of the frontier list, J and K. And that would complete the expansion of node E and when we select the next node for expansion since j is at the front of the frontier list j would be selected next so we would remove j from the frontier list and we'll put it in the export set and now the valid actions for j is to go back to e e is already present in the explored set so no more new nodes will be generated and that would complete the expansion of node j and we have to select the next node for expansion and since k is at the front of the list k will be selected so we would remove k from the frontier list and we'll put k into the explored set and what are the valid actions for k k has only one valid action which is go back to e and e is already present in the explored set so no more new nodes would be generated for K uh, and that would complete the expansion of node K and we have to select the node, next node for expansion and since we have only one node in the frontier list C, uh, C would be selected for expansion next. So C would be removed from frontier list and it would be put in the export set. And if you look at the valid actions possible at node C, uh, the valid actions are we can go to F, we can go to Z, or we can go to A. A is already present in the export set. So only two more new nodes would be generated. They are F and Z. The newly generated nodes, they would be put into the frontier list. And that would complete the expansion of C. And we now need to select the next node for expansion. And since F is at the front of the list, F will be selected for expansion. 
so f would be removed from the frontier list and it would be put into the explored set and if we look at the actions possible for f and the actions are we can go to l or we can go to m or we can go to c c is already present in the explored set so only two more new nodes would be generated which are l and m and that would complete the expansion of node f and we need to select the next node for expansion and since l is at the front of the list next l will be selected for expansion so l will be removed from the frontier list and l will be put into the explored set and the valid actions at l are we can go to f now f is already present in the explored set so no more new nodes would be generated for l and that would complete the expansion of l and we need to select the next node for expansion and the next m and and m is the uh, node that is at the front of the frontier list so m will be selected for expansion next uh, and now since m is the goal node um, it would sign might signify that we have reached uh, the goal state and we have found a solution so uh, we would now return a solution which we can obtain by following the parent links starting at m so from m we can reach f from f we can reach c and from c we can reach a and hence the solution is a c f and m so as you can see although i had not mentioned it earlier as we select a node for expansion we first check whether that node is the goal node so when we selected a we would select if a is the goal node or not and then we'll expand and generate b and c next we selected b for expansion the first thing we will do is check whether b is the goal state or not and if b is not the goal state we will generate the new nodes for b which would be D and E and next when we select D for expansion first we'll check whether D is the goal state or not so like that when we reach M and we select the, the newly generated and uh, the newly selected node M whether it is a goal state or not we'll see that it's a goal state and hence we will stop uh, our search at this point and we'll return this solution thus we see that dfs always expand the deepest node in the current frontier of the search tree that's because the nodes uh, which have the highest depth value they would be present at the front of the frontier list and hence dfs will always select the deepest node in the current frontier and then where is uh, bfs use a first in first out queue and dfs use a last in first out queue and the tree search version of dfs is not complete it's not complete because we may get into an infinite path where we go from a to b and then from b we go back to a and then from a again we come back to b and then b to a and like that we can continue infinitely and in case of tree search this can happen because in tree search we allow repeated nodes we don't maintain a explored set and hence we do not check for repeated nodes and because of that we may enter a uh, infinite path like this and when we enter infinite path like this even if a goal state exists we will never reach the goal state and hence we say that dfs is not complete by complete we mean that if a solution exists it would be found by the algorithm but in case of dfs the solution may exist but if we are using the tree search version we will never reach the goal state because we may enter into infinite path and hence the tree search version of dfs is not complete uh, next the dfs search is not optimal uh, we will discuss uh, about it in our next class when we talk about uh, the performance evaluation of dfs 
So I would like to end today's class here. We'll meet in the next class. Bye.